Hey there guys, welcome again. It's been a very long time since my last tutorial video. So in this video, we will be talking about the mean, median, and mode, which are the measures of central tendency. Let's start with the mean. Okay, so mean is also called the average. And to obtain the mean, we just have to add all the values divided by the number of values in the data set. Example. Okay, suppose we have this data set. Para makuha natin yung mean, pag-addin lang natin lahat ng mga values na yan, divided by 6. Bakit 6? Kasi may anim na values dyan sa ating data set. Okay, so pag-addin divided by the number of values. And doing that, we will be having an answer of 13. So yung mean or average ng data set na yan ay 13. Okay, let's proceed to the next measure of central tendency, which is the median. Median, on the other hand, is the middle value of the data set. Suppose we are given this data set. We don't simply get the middle value jan sa ating data set na yan. We have to arrange it first in ascending or descending order. So for me, mas gusto ko i-arrange ko na lang siya from lowest to highest. So that is in ascending order. Okay, so after arranging it, kukunin na natin yung middle value. So dito sa ating data set, may dalawang middle values. And yung dalawang middle values na yun ay 12 and 13. Take note guys, dapat isa lang ang median. So hindi dapat dalawa. Okay, so to get the median, we get the mean of the two middle values. So that is 12 plus 13 divided by 2, the median is 12.5. So don't forget, guys, to arrange the data set before getting the middle value. Okay, then let's proceed to the last measure of central tendency, which is the mode. And mode is the value that occurs most frequently in the data set. So si mode, wala tayong i-add, wala tayong i-divide. We just have to observe, we just have to inspect the data set kung ano yung value na mas marami. Okay, so dito sa ating data set, kung titignan ninyo, 11 appeared twice, while the other values appeared only once. So alam na natin yung mode dito, ang mode natin dito is 11. What about this data set? Okay, so kung titignan natin to, 94 appeared twice. 97 appeared twice as well. Tapos, si 95 mag-isa lang. So, we can actually have one or more values for the mode. So, in our second data set, the modes are 94 and 97. So, meron tayong kinatawag na data set na unimodal. Unimodal ang data set natin kung isa lang ang mode. Bimodal naman kung dalawa ang mode. Trimodal kung tatlo and so on. And last data set, we have here 15, 11, 11, 16, 16, and 15. So actually, all of them appeared twice. I mean, 15 appeared twice, 11 appeared twice, 16 appeared twice as well. So tig the dalawa sila. So what do you think, guys? Are 15, 11, and 16 the modes of this data set? Well, actually, no. Kasi ang mode, yun yung value na mas marami. At dito sa third data set natin, walang value na mas marami. So this data set has no mode simply because walang mas marami kasi lahat sila tig the dalawa. Okay, so that is it guys for the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. I hope you learned something and please do visit my YouTube channel and subscribe and tune in for my future videos. See you guys there.